species of tortoise in the world, and the third largest tortoise in the, in the world, next to the Galapagos and the Eldabras. Fully grown, they can get up to about 150 pounds. Come here, there you go. Oh yeah. There's the stuff. Is that his favorite treat? Watermelon? Um, <laughs> the, he likes food. Anything that um, colorful. is colorful and green and oranges. But you see, when he's eating, you have this big beak on him. We call it a beak because it's made all out of bone. And they use that just to slice through food. <laughs> now these guys have a couple different na different names for them. I um, need to brush the rhino. <laughs> you want to brush the rhino? We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh yeah, we're going to start this. here look first. We're going to start here first. Look at them but these guys are called African spur thighs. And they get their name because they have these really large scales on the front. Uh, a lot of times they'll use it for digging, uh, and people get these guys in the pet stores. They call they call them silicata tortoises, and they're about that big. <laughs> and then they'll tell them they get this yeah. big. So what usually happens is they put them in a tank, and then it outgrows yeah. the tank, and they put them in a bigger tank, and then yeah. it outgrows that tank. And they're like, well, you know what? We should just put them in our house and let them walk around. Yeah. Um, if they don't have anything to dig through, uh, one of their favorite things is sheetrock. <laughs> and it'll go straight through. <laughs> it's like the thing from the tortoise. So if he's from, uh, he's a Madagascar a tourist. Where is he from? Canada. Madagascar. Madagascar. There you yes, go. Yes, <laughs> boy. <Canada. laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Could have been a trick. Could have been a trick. Yeah, I know. We, we throw stuff like that at you every once in a while. But these guys are uh, one of those really awesome species. Uh, they are an endangered species right now. Uh, the two main reasons is habitat destruction. Also, uh, because but uh, and that's Serafina. So that's we have our male, female. You just want to watch just if you get too close because he can bite about this far through. <laughs> um, so <laughs> we always have to be a little careful with him. But they're actually of a, a part group of birds called the gray cranes. Uh, and there are East African crown cranes, and the difference between them is that the coloration on the side of their face is swapped, depending on if they're East or West. Um, <laughs> My dad is a dog. His yours is a dog. That's yes. right, that's that's exactly. a big that's difference. It's a, it's a really big difference. Birds and dogs are way different. You got it, see? No, our, uh, camp. Oh, there she goes. Oh, oh she's up. Vera, Vera. You want to come up? Come on. Come on. Come on up. You guys don't like crackers. You're carnivores. Sometimes we, we had, had one day where I scar. Is he? Oh, there he is. Coming up fast. Yeah. <laughs> There's Doc. Doc came up to see us. Yes, usually. Can't get them on the platform. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wanna give you another shot? One more shot. And we'll go over and feed the giraffe. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's all right, you got the one. That's all right, you got, you got the one. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, we'll go. I got two good. That's two good. good throws. Good. If we need to get a lot of the checks, we need to get a little bit closer. A little bit closer. <clears throat> a little bit closer. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, come on. <laughs> you can get a little bit up, farther up. Not tight? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely.